The Brahman chief of the Flower Traditional Area, Togbi Ajonugaga Amenya Fiti, has given the government a four month ultimatum to operationalize the abandoned E Block Community Day Senior High School in the area. The school, which is almost 90% complete, has some 26 classrooms in five departments, including a science block. Construction has stalled since 2016. Speaking to the minority side of the Education Committee who are on tour of the abandoned E blocks, the chief demanded the personalization of the school by the next economic year. After uh, 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 senior high education, primary to the senior high education, the next degree that my people have to do is to go to Boda and go and do uh, what? Kayaru. No school. The only school that we have again is uh, the, uh, the ROC senior high school that belongs to the Catholic mission. Uh, it's now what? A minor seminary. So this thick population have no place to go. And people sit down in that big hall called uh, Parliament. Without taking of Avlao, a place after the the, the, after the Tema Habo, the next revenue generation, is from Avlao border. It's from Avlao border. And I have to push the former president, uh, Mahama, for that structure to be what? Uh, constructed over there. I have to be running from here to Accra. Begging. Should you beg for education? No. There's something happening. If we have to beg for education before our what people can go to school, then I don't know what is called a, a democracy at all. I look at the structure standing over there. Ninety percent finished. Yes, now the, 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 the teams are having their full days again, going there, removing everything at will. Now, in the era of the MPP now, we have the free uh, 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 senior high education. And my people are not benefiting because the school is not here. I'm sure by next, uh, by, by next year, February, uh, school, uh, new uh, uh, entrants will go to school. So your coming here is the redemption to the suffering people of Aflao. It's a redemption, really, to the suffering people of Aflao. I carry this message to the Minister of uh, Education. That come February, I want this school to be open. Yes, February. First batch. Mm. The deputy ranking on the Education Committee, Dr. Clementa Pack, is also demanding a detailed breakdown of how the $1.5 million approved by Parliament to facilitate the completion of critical educational projects was used. I mean, you can imagine. It has now become a, 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 a farm, abandoned. Mm -hmm. You see, they say snakes, bandicoots, grass cutters, and you can see public resources wasted. My students are waiting to go to school. Our schools are overcrowded. Classrooms are So far, would you say this is the worst you've seen on, on this trip? Well, it is, it is, it is, it is. Only the worst because if you look at the magnitude of work and the fiscal environment, it's very depressing because tiling has been done, electrical have been fixed, plans were definitely in place to work on fixtures like uh, windows and doors, and it has been abandoned. And we are being told that the last time a contractor showed up here was three years ago. And it is very clear, it's evident. Is that the best way to use public resources? Don't Ghanaians deserve better? Are we not punishing the future of this nation? Is it okay for us to have overcrowded schools when we have schools that can take in excess of a thousand students each each of the e blocks can take in excess of a thousand garden students. Imagine the pressure that will take off in terms of the current available educational infrastructure, struggling to contain 1.2 million students. And what does the GET Fund 
securitized 1.5 billion be used for? How many critical educational infrastructural projects have been completed? How many new ones have been initiated? How much of the monies have been used? Is it the case that the state needs more money? And if so, shouldn't there be accountability for us to know? You're watching News as we're taking a break. We'll be back with you in a bit. Stay tuned in.